So, here we come. Mastery. Mastery of living in love consciousness. Mastery of fear consciousness. How do we do that? How do we do that? There have been, there are thousands and thousands and thousands and thousands of ways to do this. What we've discovered is actually relatively simple to do. Needs some practice and some guidance, but relatively simple to do. What I'm going to suggest to you is that the, what I'm suggesting and giving today is a starting point. Don't take this as that this is going to allow you to master it, but it gives you the framework through which you can achieve mastery. So there are basically a few elements. Number one is you got to build awareness. You have to start freeing moment to moment. You got to build your awareness from a place of reflection, of going to the end of the day and reflecting on what happened on, during the day, to actually gradually coming to a place where you are aware, moment to moment, of what's happening over here. The instrument that guides all of your activity, whether it is thought, it's emotion, it's communication, or it's action. All of it is guided from up here. What is happening in your mind? First step is awareness. So as you build awareness, what you are then able to start doing is to be able to see for yourself where you are operating from. All you need to know is where is this coming from? Fear or love? Fear or love? That's it. So the second thing is to do, is to actually act despite. So, what that means is, once you're starting to build awareness, as soon as you become aware, you say, well, the way I'm feeling at the moment is that I want to do this. And you say, hold on, I might feel that way, or I'm feeling that I don't want to do this, but you know what? I'm going to act this way anyway. Because the act, despite, actually is an option that arises the moment you start becoming aware. You go, maybe there's another way to do it. It just turns up. Because that turns up from here. Because the moment you become aware, you're actually moving yourself out of the space of being run by this lower mind and the animal mind. You're stepping out and observing it. And where do you step out into? That is a creature that was created from within this. When you step out, you actually step in here. And you get options that turn up. So second step is to act despite. And the third step is to open yourself. That is where you get true mastery. Sounds simple, but what it is, is it involves some interesting work. We think that there is some great opportunities for human beings to work with. I've just through my life and my own life experience and working with some beautiful, amazing people, some of them much older than I am and some of them kids, little ones, five, six years old. I've seen them. I've seen them take this, one, two, three, and then they open themselves. When you open yourself, you no longer have to protect or defend. And that's how you gradually head towards the place, what they call enlightenment, the space when you no longer have this fear consciousness living inside you, when you become a unitary being with a single consciousness. So mastery is a three-step process. It takes time, it takes a bit of work and patience. What I ask you is 
set out on this journey. You don't have to come and do any of our programs. Go and do programs. There are thousands of them. But if you can remember these three steps in your mind and keep working on it, keep being aware, it doesn't matter whether you go back and you study your own religion, whether it is Islam or Christianity or Buddhism or Hinduism or, or Judaism, it doesn't matter. Sikhism, it doesn't matter. And use them. But the first thing is cultivate awareness. Cultivate the habit to become aware of what's actually happening in your world. Where are you speaking from? Where are you doing things from? Then start acting. Seeking those actions that will act despite how you feel, how you're thinking in that moment, despite the demands of the fear consciousness. And then third, prepare to open yourself. Because in these actions, you will automatically start doing it. You'll start opening yourself to your loved ones, to your spouses, to your children. And suddenly there's magic opening up. There's a, there's a deep, deeply satisfying and fulfilling connection that starts being created between your people. What it's actually doing is the connections are always there. You're just becoming aware of it. And in the aware of it, you're going to experience that connection. You're going to actually feel. You're going to have thoughts around it and emotions around it and feelings around it. It's just beautiful, enriching. And then, as you open that further and further, you'll be ready to open yourself to the world. And when one day that happens, my prayer is that you do find that enlightenment for yourself. And in that process, eliminate all the misery, all the anger of this world and become a light that shines, brightening every dark bit of this earth, brightening the lives of every human being. Doesn't matter what kind of being you are today, doesn't matter whether you are an alpha male CEO whose world is about domination and control. Because that is one of the really interesting elements. How best can you protect and defend yourself by dominating and controlling your environment? You can see that when we do that, we can destroy the environment that we live in. We have no consideration for the earth or for others. All we want to do is protect and defend ourselves. Take a look. What I want you to do is to take a look. Take a look at your life. Use this framework to help you see. Start seeing the amazing instances when you operate from here and see what that brought you. Start seeing your life when you operate from here and see what that brings you. Might bring you enormous wealth and an amazing house and, and Ferraris and Lamborghinis in your garage. But how do you feel? What is your life filled with? Is your life merely that about a great house, fame and recognition, cars, beautiful men or beautiful women? Is that all that your life is about? What great purpose are you here for? What's happened to that? So, my plea to you, is that you ask the questions. For me, I hope I have been of service to you. My passion and my purpose in life is to bring education to human beings to help them discover that they really have a choice and to teach them how to master that. And through that process, hopefully, giving them an opportunity to experience a life immensely different to the ones that they're used to experiencing. And perhaps through that, we will enrich all our lives. That is my purpose in life, and I hope, in a small way, these teachings have contributed towards it. I wish you an extraordinary life, an extraordinary year ahead, and may you have all, may you feel and experience all the wonderful gifts that is there waiting for you as you step into your love consciousness and, ex and see life through that. Thank you very much for being part of this program. 
I am indeed honored and privileged to have presented it to you. Thank you.